Hello everyone! Today we're going to continue our series on color page basics. In the first episode, we've covered how to set your project settings, your color management, and also how to use your primaries palette with lift, gamma, gain, and offset. If you haven't seen it yet, I strongly recommend that you do, and I will leave a link down in the description. In today's episode, we're going to cover the curves tab and explore some of the possibilities that it can give you when grading. Without further ado, let's dive in. Welcome into the color page of DaVinci Resolve, guys, and we're going to pick up where we left off last time in our color page basics video. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go do it now, and I will leave the link in the description for you to do so. Regarding our color management, we are set in DaVinci YRGB Color Managed. And now, using some of the principles that we used last time, I'm going to raise exposure on my image a little bit. In my first node, add a second one. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast to this image using my lift and gain, like so, before, after. So let me so let me label these nodes for you. We've got exposure and contrast. And now I'm going to add another serial node, and this will be used for demonstrating what we can do with the curves tab, which is located right here. I'm gonna click on it. Let me make that bigger for you. Okay, so we've got our RGB curves right here, okay? So here I'm controlling the luminance, the red, the green, and the blue curve. At the same time, they're all linked together. And you see that little link right here. But if I untick that, now I'm only controlling the luminance curve. If I want to only control the red curve, I can press red here. And now I'm adjusting my reds and my greens and my blues so I can have control over the different curves of this tab here. So let me reset it first and relink it. So you could basically use that for adding contrast to an image, for example. Okay, so that would be before after you can do that you can also use it for adding some warmth to an image for example so if i go to my blue curve right here and i subtract some blue i'm going to add some yellow to my image so that's before it's after before and after so this tab here is very powerful you can do a lot with that Let's say that I want, for example, to add a bit of warmth to my highlights and some coolness to my shadows like that. Let me make it more extreme so you can see it better on YouTube. So that will be before, after, before, after. So you can play around with these curves and shape them differently as well. You can do a lot with this tool. Let's move to my hue versus hue curve. This is rotating the hues to a different hue value. So let's say that I want to rotate my reds. Here, I'm using my panel, but I'm, you see on the graph right here what is happening. And I'm basically rotating my reds towards yellows. So this is before, this is after, before, after. And you can see the T-shirt of that kid which is being rotated from reds to more oranges so this tab allows you to have control over all the hues of your image let's say i want to do the same with my yellows then you can do the same so let's make the yellows of that little van being more yellow green so that's before it's after before after you get the idea so that can be achieved with this tab now let's move to the next tab, which is hue versus saturation. So this will basically change the saturation value 
for a specific hue. So for example, if I grab my yellow preset here and I drag it down before, after, here I'm decreasing the yellows of my van. If I reset it, I want to do the same thing for the reds, before, after, before, after. And you can see the result on the t-shirt of that little kid, before, after. So that's what it's for. Let's reset that, let's go to the next one, which is hue versus luminance. And this will increase or decrease the luminance of a specific color. So there, let's target my yellows. And I'm decreasing the luminance of my yellows here. See my van, the yellows are becoming darker. Before, after, before, after. And I can go the opposite way and make them brighter. Before, after, before, after. If you don't have a panel, you can click on these little dots right here and you can select yellow and then move with your mouse this point right here. Or you can even add points in between if you so desire. And and loom versus sat, sat versus sat, and sat versus loom, these are a bit more advanced curves and you can play around with those, but I'm not going to cover them in this lesson because this is a bit more advanced and we're kind of like steering away from the basics. What I would encourage you would be to try and use these tabs. So RGB curves, hue versus hue, hue versus sat and hue versus luminance. And with just these four tabs, you can achieve a lot. You can, you can pretty much make, and just with these four tabs, you can make a lot of different looks combined with your primaries. The only thing that I would personally suggest would be to be really mindful of the way you draw your points. So for example, if I am very smooth like that and very gentle and the transitions are not that harsh, I'm going to really minimize the chances of breakage in my image. But if I start pulling some points like this, you know, being more harsh in the transitions between the points, then my image will start to break more easily. So you got to be really mindful of that. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you've liked this episode. Please leave a like, comment down below. Tell me about future topics you would like me to cover. Come and say hi on Instagram. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss future updates. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.